rhyme. Charter man, charter man, charter man, rhyme. Three comics, twists are hella sick, hella wacky nicks. Take a bad hit, take a bad hit. Charter man, subscribe. Well, this guy, he can scratch his own nutsack if he has to. Hey, what's up, you guys? Short Miss Prime here doing another Dawn of the Planet of the Apes figure review on the NECA Maurice figure from the upcoming movie, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. If you're trying to get these figures, you can't find them at retail. You can't get them at Big Bad Monkey Store. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Gotta love the clamshell packaging. Love the clamshell packaging. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes at the top. Action figure. Maurice, ages 14 and up. Warning right there. Very clear on both sides, nothing really going on. Now on the back, same as all the other figures down the Planet of the Apes. Collect them all or die! And you get Caesar Koba, I've reviewed those two, and then now Maurice. So that's it for series one of this movie figure series. I hope we get more, I really like these figures. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this figure open. Then here's Maurice out of the packaging. And just like the other NECA Dawn of the Planet of the Apes figures, NECA's doing a great job. A lot of great paint detail. Wonderfully sculpted. I really like the sculpting on this one, especially a lot of hair and his orangutan lumps and everything and little lines on his face and stuff are great. Uh, one drawback, he is a little tricky to stand just to, uh, due to the way his feet are sculpted. As you can see, is you know they're very hand-like down there. But you can get him to stand. It is just a little tricky, though. You just kind of have to mess with it. But very, very cool. He doesn't come with interchangeable hands, and, uh, and he doesn't have his own spear, which is fine. I, I'm not really too crazy about that. That for this character anyway, but he does come with his own little book. Now this little notebook right here is very well detailed, I have to say. Nice little line scratched right in there. I think that's pretty cool. You could even see some dirt on the pages and everything. So Maurice is an orangutan, and the orangutans were, I guess, the smartest ones of all the primates uh, in this uh, Planet of the Apes universe. And going back to the original, it was the orangutans that were all the leaders and everything like that. So I think this is very cool that they're taking this path. And in the trailer, you see him teaching all the other primates how to read and write. So that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, love that sexy face. Oh, love those cheeks and everything. Oh man, orangutans are so nasty looking to me, man. I remember being a kid going to the zoo and thinking they're just so gross, man. What's with these floppy things over here? Oh man. But that is beautifully done though. I mean, it's supposed to look gross. So there is. Naka did a good job of making this a good looking orangutan, and I think that's pretty awesome. I do get a little bit of like a paint chip right over here, but it's not a big deal. I really like the shading on this section right over here. So you have this nice tan color mixed in over the black, and you have all those lines etched in there. And it's kind of hard to tell his eye color. It looks like it's a green color. It should be the bright eyes green. So it kind of resembles that. And then we have some nice shading right there in the hair. It's not just a solid orange. You have some highlights in there and everything, so I think that's very, very cool. I think they did a good job on his little beard over here, too, and on the mouth. Just the sculpting on this is very, very impressive, I, I gotta say. And one of the trickiest things that I, I think I've seen, or, or trippiest things, anyway, is, is this little guaddle piece. This is made out of a soft, rubbery material, and it's attached to his neck right here. It's, it's kind of hard to see, but it's attached right there, so you don't want to pop the head off on this figure because it's attached right over there, and you can, it feels like you can break it if you really try to stretch it too much, but when you move the head side to side, like how you're supposed to, it doesn't feel like it's going to break at all, so that's pretty cool. And then this is made out of a very soft material as well, you can see all the lines sculpted in there. Paint's looking pretty nice, looks really good over here too. I like it man, this is pretty realistic looking. I think they just did a fantastic job on this hair too. All the different paint detail in there, looks great really like it. The hands look awesome. Like I said, he doesn't come with interchangeable hands, but you don't really miss it because all he needs to do is really hold his little book, so that's fine. All the hair drooping down right here. Very, very hairy primate. And look at the back of this figure over here. Very nice. It's all droopy and stuff. And I like how there's a lot of sections made out of soft rubbery material, especially like the hair right here. This is all soft kind of plastic material. Same thing with this section right here. So they have these parts where they made it softer. You can see where it kind of cuts off. This is a hard plastic and then this is the soft plastic. So you can hear the tapa? No tapa. Tapa? No tapa. See? So yeah, you can, you know, it allows for more mobility with the articulation that they gave the figure. And looking right over here, you can see his legs and then the monkey toes. I know he's not a monkey, alright, but yeah, look at that. That is so well done. Oi, that's beautiful, man. I like that. And they even get peggles at the bottom of the feet. 
So Maurice does have some pretty decent articulation, however I do like the articulation on the Caesar and Koba figures a little bit more. So you can move the head up on the figure a little bit, this does not hinder any articulation over here at all, so you can move this down as well and you can see it just collapses under his chin. He has a neck pivot so you can get him to turn side to side like that, and then you can rotate like this as well. He has shoulders that move outward, you can rotate them forward, still wish we had a bicep swivel over here. He has elbows that bend at 90 degrees and he rotates at the elbow as well, then he has wrists that are on ball pegs. So you can move him any direction you want. He has a very nice diaphragm joint over here that has some pivot like this, and you can move it forward and back, which is very cool. It's got this nice shifting joint right there, and you can move it all the way backwards. And of course, you could rotate side to side. Uh, his hip joints are a little lacking, I think. You can rotate it a little bit. It's like you kind of have to move, you can move outward like that, and then to get it really moving outward, you kind of have to shift all the way like this. So it's a little weird, but luckily we have some decent knee articulation, so it could bend at 90 degrees right there and rotate side to side. So you can get into like step forward like that. It's not too bad. Then he has ankles that are in pretty good joints. You can move them up and down just a little bit, rotate side to side, and there is some pivot right there on the ankle, but unfortunately due to this little piece of hair right there in the back of his foot, you can't really move it downward at all. And to measure out this figure, Maurice stands over six inches tall. And here's Maurice standing next to Koba and Caesar, and it looks like Maurice is just about the same size as Caesar. They look the same exact height. And here he's next to my SH Monster Arts King Kong figure, which is my fake buck figure. And here's Maurice compared to my Marvel Legends Sasquatch figure. And then finally, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Hey there, baby. It's store time. Ah, I love getting him in this orangutan pose. You know how they always lounge around like that. But I really think this is a very cool figure. I think NECA's done a wonderful job on all these Planet of the Apes figures. I can't wait for the new ones where they're revamping or they're based off of the original Planet of the Apes movie. I'm looking forward to those. And I think this is just fantastic. A lot of detail, good articulation. It's pretty awesome, man. Anyway, check out ToyNewsEye.com for a photo gallery of images of this figure and the other Planet of the Apes figures. And hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment and do not not forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Gotta love the clamshell packaging. I'm digging the clamshell packaging. It says Dawn of the Can't Land of the. Thank you.